Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make a portfolio like this in Notion. You can put this in your Instagram bio instead of a link tree. And it's just a really handy way to show everything that you're working on right now in a really nice, pleasing format, all completely free of charge. So if you're interested in doing this, watch along and let's get started. First things first, we're gonna go into Notion and create a new page. The title of this page will appear at the top of the web page, so I wanna make sure that it says the right thing. I'm gonna call it About Me. First things first, I wanna have two columns here. On the left-hand side, I'm gonna have a little blurb about me, everything that I'm doing, all of my interests. And on the right-hand side, I'm gonna have an image of me so people know who I am. Okay. I'm gonna pull up an image of me and just drag and drop it into Notion. Here we go. I'm gonna drag that onto the right-hand side. Make sure that it's the right size. About that, should be fine. Uh, now I'm gonna get a little blurb. Just gonna introduce myself. Make sure that I have kind of a hierarchy. So I've got heading one, heading two, and then some text. I'm also gonna go in here and change it to mono because that's my favorite. And already you can see we kind of have a page shaping up. I'm gonna make that image a little bit smaller just so it all fits on a page. And so when someone lands on this page, this is what they'll see. Hi, I'm Gabriel. I'm a photographer and videographer from London, England. I shoot people in places. When I'm not editing behind my computer, you can find me camping in a precarious position on the side of a mountain, normally in adverse weather conditions. I'm always looking for an excuse to go to Japan. So there you go, uh, they can just know a little bit about me straight off the bat. And then just to round out this section, I'm gonna put some links in so that people know where to find me. I'm gonna use a call out for this because this is kind of the most important thing on the page. I want people to contact me. I'm just gonna say you can find me on Instagram, Threads, YouTube, and TikTok and link all my stuff there. Put a nice little emoji like this and then we'll have a look at how's it looking, make this a little bit. Bigger. So yeah, straight away as a landing page, you can see I've got who I am, what I look like, where to find me, and a little bit about me, which is exactly what I want when I have a link in my Instagram bio or anything. Those are the really important things that hopefully people are gonna connect with me about. Now, I'm gonna have several sections here. Heading one, YouTube. So here I'm gonna put some of my best work. I reckon I'll have two columns again. I'm gonna go over to my YouTube channel and I'm gonna grab the links to two videos which I think are my best work. Some videos that I made recently, I think two that stand out to me are the Fujifilm X100F video. And then I'm gonna come back into this, backslash embed, put my link in. And here you go. My first YouTube video just shows up like that. Very nice. And on the right hand side, and I think that this video is a really good one as well. I recently shot it on the South Downs where I took a film camera, did a hike and stayed in a tiny home all at the same time. Great video and I'm really proud of it. So I'm gonna embed that one right now. There we go, perfect. So now people will land on this, they'll see YouTube. I'm gonna have a little blurb. I upload weekly videos on my YouTube channel about cameras adventure and being a creative. Another section done. Now I've gone through and pulled out four different categories of images that I think I have really strong examples of. Now, depending on where you are in your photography journey, this might be a little bit tricky. At first, I can remember trying to put together a portfolio and it was really difficult because I just didn't have enough images or examples of work that I was really proud of. Now I'm about 10 years deep into this photography journey, if not a little bit more, and I've got too many images. Now this can be a little bit overwhelming and for certain sections I'll have more images than others and I'll talk about why that is, but I've broken it down into four categories which are landscapes, portraits, sports, and street photography. And I'll have different examples of each of those. I think I'm aiming for about eight really good pictures which will give you a sense of if you pay me money to do something for you, this is what you'll get. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create four individual pages, which are gonna house all of the images that I want to have in there. So first up, we'll do landscapes. I've got my eight landscape images now in Notion, and I'm just gonna arrange them to look nice on this page. Try and pair your images up so they make some kind of sense. You can see here, blues, oranges, greens, kind of bluish mountains, and then just mountain peaks. Okay, so to get a gallery effect, I'm gonna use a third-party plugin. Uh, this is called Notaku, and what this does is just creates a clickable image. Now this is what people will see when they first land on it. So you can see this is exactly what I want it to be like. I can go through, have a look at these YouTube videos, etc. Um, and I can click on this and it'll open up kind of a new page with all of my images in here, which is great. You can click on them to make them bigger, scroll through them, they get a little gallery effect. Very nice, that's exactly what I want. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try and do that for all of these. I'm gonna need to create my page again. 
As a rule of thumb, I'll try to limit it in my portraits to a maximum of two from the same shoot. So you can see here on the right hand side, I did a headshot shoot. Uh, some of them turned out really well. I'm just gonna choose two of the ones that I really liked to put in the portfolio and the rest I'm gonna leave out because I don't want it to be too samey. Likewise, you might have a lot of pictures of a single person, uh, whether it's your best friend or your girlfriend, boyfriend, etc. Try and limit that as well so that you get a nice range of different people, etc. Now, sports is gonna be a little bit different. I have shot some campaigns. So this is where I'm gonna create a new section kind of for each one. So I shot some stuff for Adidas. I'm just gonna put some words here. So, did an Adidas campaign for Manchester Marathon. Here are some of the images. New section, aloe yoga. Go down, I think I've got three images here that I wanna display. Aloe, one, two, three. We got invited to an aloe store launch. Aloe yoga store launch. Next up is I got invited to do I got invited to shoot the ASICS Comfort Lab, so I'm gonna put that in there as another campaign that I've worked on. How many have I got? Five, so we'll do five columns again. Now, ideally, all these images will be the same aspect ratio. I've just thrown this together really quickly because I wanna get something up, and I'm gonna take advantage of the space that I have by putting in some text and some details right now. I did another campaign here for ASICS Run Club. How many have I got? Four images. So we'll go four columns again. Again, I've got a little bit of space here because one of the images is the landscape. And so I'm gonna make use of that. This is a campaign I did for Nike, launching some of their Elliot Kipchoge models. And finally, on track nights. And fun fact, that's Andy Butchart right there who is the UK 10,000 meter champion and he still uses that as his display picture on Instagram. You must have liked it. That's what our page is looking like right now. If I go to the live site. Really good, I'm happy with that. Let's go through, see some of the pictures that I've taken, which is great. Click my page. Street, do the same thing, mono and full width. Come back in here, I've got some street photos. Yeah, I don't mind this too much. It's a little bit all over the place, um, but I'm happy with that, rough and ready. So now let's see what this looks like on the web. You can see here, I'm gonna land on this page. It looks great, this is who I am. This is how you can find me, scroll down. You've got my YouTube videos, scroll down a little bit more. We got all my photography right here. You can click in and it'll bring up a gallery. There's all my portraits. They're in good quality. You can scroll through and have a look. It looks great. Right, I'm really happy with this. There's just one other thing that I'm gonna do. I do have a TikTok page. Just put a little bit of commentary here. I have a TikTok page where I document and running journeys. Uh, nice. Now it's important to give yourself credibility and include some of the brands that you've worked with that shows that people can trust you and you're gonna deliver them some good content and campaigns. So if I go back to my about me, Right down here, I'm just gonna have a who I've worked with section. I'm fortunate enough to have worked with some really cool brands and I'm just gonna drop a little banner in here. And that's it, let's have a look at the final product. So I'm gonna put this as a link in my Instagram bio and it's just so much better than a link tree. Have a look at this, I can scroll through, have a look who I am, here's a picture of me, people know what I look like. I've got all my links here to Instagram, threads, YouTube and TikTok, all the stuff that I'm doing right now. YouTube video, I've managed to embed two different videos here that I'm really proud of so that people can have a look at it. You can see here, I've got examples of all of my different types of work, landscapes, portraits, sports, and street photography. You can click into here and see all of the work that I've done across different campaigns, who I've done it for, what it looks like, and it's just a really lovely experience. There you go. Back on the main page, I've got a TikTok embedded link right here, so it will load up and show everybody what my TikTok looks like, all the videos I've uploaded. I really like that. Scroll down a little bit more, you can see who I've worked with right here on Nike, Gore-Tex, Sports Shoes, Adidas, etc. all on different campaigns. 
And yeah, it's just an excellent way to up your credibility.